Welcome to the Fortnite Ultimate Fixing Guide. Hopefully one of the methods that I mention in this video will fix the issues you are having with Fortnite. And this could be the game is crashing, freezing, textures not loading properly, maybe you're having sound issues. We're going to be covering all those problems within Fortnite for PC. The methods I do show in this video are for a Windows 10 PC. So just keep that in mind if you are using a different version of Windows. And before we get started, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and also subscribe for other videos like this one. So the first thing you want to do is just take off the side panel to your PC and just make sure it's not dusty. Because if there's a buildup of dust within your PC case, then your PC may be struggling with overheating issues, which can really cause an impact when trying to play PC games. It will basically just decrease the performance of your machine if it's overheating. There is also software you can download just to make sure your PC isn't overheating. So it's definitely worth checking that out. But if your computer's being pretty loud, then there's a good chance that it is pretty dirty inside. And also, when was the last time you gave it a clean? So definitely check that out. But just be careful when removing the side panel to your PC and being careful around all the components because you don't want to go breaking your expensive graphics card or anything like that. So just be extremely careful when cleaning the inside of your PC. The next thing we want to check is our hard drives and make sure we have enough disk space. This includes the C drive, which you have Windows installed on, and also the drive you have Fortnite installed on. I'm going to open up my file explorer now, and as you can see, my C drive is absolutely fine. There's quite a bit of free space there. And also on my E drive, which is where I have Fortnite installed, I also have 159 gig of free space. So that's absolutely fine. I can rule out any free space issues. But if your hard drive is getting low on this space, on the Windows drive or the drive you have Fortnite installed on, then try and free up some space because that could be causing a few issues when in game. So it's definitely worth doing that and then booting up the game and see if that resolved any issues you are having. The next thing we want to do is open up the Epic Games Launcher. And you now need to just simply make sure Fortnite is up to date. If you click on the three dots, you also need to go to your library to the Fortnite location. And we then need to click on the three dots. And you now need to just make sure auto update is ticked. As you can see, mine is blue, which means it will keep Fortnite automatically up to date. But if this isn't ticked, then your Fortnite might be out of date and that's not allowing you to play the game, which is causing problems. And also, when you are on this screen, the next thing we want to do is click on the three dots again and you now need to click on verify. And we just want to verify everything is absolutely fine with Fortnite. This will go through all the files and just make sure everything looks good and nothing has become corrupted. After running the verify, Go ahead, launch Fortnite and see if that resolved the issue you're having. If that didn't fix the problem you're having, then don't panic because there are quite a lot of other things we can do. And the next thing we want to do is open up Windows 10 updates. To do this, all you need to do is open the start menu and type in update. You now need to click on check for updates. And we now want to just click on check for updates again and just ensure we have the latest updates installed. If you don't, go ahead and install the latest updates, but just make a backup of any important files on your computer just in case something goes wrong. Once you have installed the latest updates, launch Fortnite and see if that fixed the issue you're having. While we are on the subject of updates, it's also worth making sure you have the latest graphics card drivers installed. If you don't have the latest drivers installed for your graphics card, then you are going to encounter problems, especially when it comes to frame drop, textures not loading, anything like that. So go to the manufacturer website 
of your graphics card I will post some links in the description below and download the latest graphics card driver. If you do have the latest driver installed then it might even be worth just reinstalling that driver just in case your driver has become corrupted. So go ahead install the driver reinstall it if you do have the latest one restart your PC and then see if that resolved the issue you're having. If that didn't fix the problem you're having, you now need to open up the start menu and type in performance. You now need to click on adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. And we now want to click on adjust for best performance and press apply. This will slightly change the look of Windows 10, but it will really boost and improve the performance of Windows, allowing us to free up a bit of memory, which will make our game run a lot smoother. Go ahead and launch the game and see if that did resolve the issue you're having. If it didn't, then we want to now stay on this screen, so go back to performance, and we then want to go over to advanced. You now need to go down to virtual memory and we want to now click on change. And you now need to make sure you have automatically managed the page and file size for all drives selected. If it is selected, then that's good. If it isn't, select that option and then press OK and then launch the game. You do need to restart your computer after applying the virtual memory. I'm just going to change the visual effects. If you have changed this to best performance and you don't quite like the look of the text, as you can see, mine looks a little bit not as clear as normal. That's because you need to select smooth edge fonts and then that makes it look a lot nicer. There we go. If I just click back on, there we go. As you can see, that has improved the screen fonts. The next thing you want to do is go to the location where you install Fortnite. As you can see, I'm now in the Epic Games folder. You then need to open up the Fortnite folder and you then need to go to Fortnite game. And we now want to open up binaries and you then need to open up Win64. And you now need to scroll all the way down until you find the Fortnite launcher.exe. We now need to right click this.exe and go to properties. And you now need to make sure the compatibility is set to run this program as an administrator and press apply and OK. Once you have set Fortnite to run as an administrator, go ahead and launch the game through the Epic Games launcher and see if that resolved the issues you are having. If that didn't resolve the problems you're having, then the next thing we want to do is now disable any security software you may have on your PC. I currently have Kaspersky on my computer because I did a tutorial on it the other day, but to disable Kaspersky security, for example, all I need to do is right click on the green shield and I then need to click on pause protection. And then I can pause it up to a certain amount of time. If I go 15 minutes and go pause protection, as you can see, the shield is now gray. And that means my protection is currently paused. Once you have paused your protection, Go ahead and launch the game and see if that resolved any issues you are having. But just remember, while your security is paused, you are at risk of security threats. So just be very, very careful when pausing your security. If that did resolve the issues you are having, then you know there is a problem on your security software that's causing you the issue in game. So it might be worth checking for updates on your security software or seeing if you can add an exception for Fortnite. The next thing we want to do is open up the start menu again and this time you want to type in disk and you now need to click on disk cleanup. You now need to select your C drive and you now need to click on clean up system files and click on your C drive again. And you now need to go through the list and select any options you are happy with cleaning. The more options you select, the better. But you definitely want to select DirectX Shader Cache and also Temporary Files if you're happy to select that. Once you have selected the options, we can go ahead and press OK and then Delete Files. And this will now delete any temporary files that we did select on our PC. 
Once disk cleanup has finished, go ahead, launch the game to see if that fixed the problem. If it didn't, open up the start menu again, and this time we want to type in defrag. And you now need to click on defragment and optimize drives. And we now want to optimize the drive that we have Fortnite installed on. And also optimize your C drive if you can. I've actually got a solid state drive. So I'm not going to optimize my C drive because it can actually reduce the life of your solid state drive. So I wouldn't recommend optimizing an SSD drive. Plus, to be fair, it doesn't really need it. I'm going to actually optimize my E drive though because that is what I've got Fortnite installed on. As you can see, it says 0%, so mine's actually fine. But go ahead, optimize the drive you have Fortnite installed on, and then launch the game and see if that fixed the problem you're having. To optimize, all you need to do is select Optimize. Once you have finished optimizing your drives, go ahead, launch the game, see if that fixed the issue. If it didn't help fix the problem, then the next thing we want to do is also just make sure we have the correct device selected for our sound, if you're having sound problems. To do this, all you need to do is select the speaker icon and then click on this button here and select the correct speakers. If that didn't fix your sound problem, then you can also right click the sound icon and then click on troubleshoot sound problems and follow the little step by step wizard to see if you can figure out what is causing the problems with sound. For example, I'm using my monitor speakers, so I'd then select next and then it will detect any issues. I can then go ahead and go yes to open up the audio enhancement if I want to or no. And then as you can see, it has detected that my volume is off, which it is. And that's the problem that I'm having at the moment with sound. So go ahead, follow that through if you're having issues with sound. I will also put a link in the description below on how to resolve audio issues within Windows 10. The next thing we want to do now is open up Fortnite. I'm going to go ahead and launch the game now. Once Fortnite is open, we now want to press the Windows key or Alt and Tab to go back to Windows and we now want to close down the Epic Games Launcher. It will be down in the system tray as you can see mine is down here and we now want to just simply press exit. There is no need to have the Epic Games Launcher app running in the background of Fortnite. We can play Fortnite without it. And by closing down the Epic Games Launcher, we are freeing up more memory to give to Fortnite, which will hopefully make Fortnite run a lot smoother. Once you have done that, go ahead and launch into a game and see if that resolved the issues you are having. If it didn't, then the next thing we want to do now is stay on the Fortnite game and we now want to click on the three lines in the top right hand corner. You now need to go down to settings and you will then end up on a screen that looks like this. You now need to make sure your window mode is set to windowed full screen. And then once you have set that, we also want to set a frame limit of 60 frames per second. You then want to scroll all the way down and we now want to change the quality preset to low. And you then need to press apply. And you now need to go into game and see how the game is running. If it's running nice and smooth, then we know that you had your graphics settings set up slightly too high. So we can now work our way through the settings. The next thing you want to turn up is going to be your textures. And you then want to turn up the few distance. Once you have set these two to medium, press apply and then go ahead and launch into the game and see if it's still running nice and smooth. If it is, then go ahead and boot these up even more to maybe far and we can make this one high on textures and we could even bump up effects to medium. Press apply, go into the game and see if it's still running nice and smooth. If it is, then that's fantastic. We can bump those up even more. Once you have set them to epic and high, go ahead, launch the game and see how it's running. If it's starting to feel a little bit not as smooth, should I say, bump that textures down to high, press apply and then see how it is. 
if that isn't resolving the problems you are having with the graphics then the next thing we want to do is turn off motion blur and you also need to make sure your rendering mode is on DirectX 11. If you have it on DirectX 12 then you will encounter a lot of lag especially if your hardware on your computer can't handle it. Also if you have set this to performance alpha I would not recommend that because it is currently in alpha. I'm just trying to go across to it now. There we go. It is currently in alpha. So you may encounter a lot of bugs and problems with that. So keep it on DirectX 11. DirectX 11 is fine and it will run nice and smooth. And that is pretty much it for this video. If you did enjoy this video, then hit that like button below. And if you would like to see more videos on Fortnite and resolving problems, then don't forget to subscribe as well. I will see you all in the next video.